Hey guys, it's Ren the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Playmates Godzilla X Kong New Empire figures. Um, I also have the Godzilla uh, vs Kong figures here, and uh, these ones were super cool. Um, I remember having a blast picking them up and uh, watching the original uh, movie with them. But um, now, of course, uh, Playmates has released a new uh, lineup of figures, which is spectacular. Um, I was actually hoping they'd have more um, kind of enemies, more monsters from that film. Maybe they'll do a second lineup. But for now, we have the main assortment, which is uh, totally fine. Like, these are all the main characters from the movie. I actually like this movie um, a lot because the Titans are more of characters in it than anything. Uh, less of just monsters, right? Um, so we have five sets. Um, I didn't pick up the alternates. There's like, oh, the normal Godzilla and all the different repaints and whatnot. So I just got the core set which is the Suko and Doug. Uh, they actually call him on the package Titanus Doug, um, which is really nice to see the fan name stuck, and they uh, they actually used it in the merchandise. So um, I love that. Um, I actually had to leave the packages behind. I got these in BC. I'm back in Alberta now. So um, to fit them on a carry-on, I had to uh, discard the packages. So unfortunately, I don't have those. Those have a lot of cool information on them. But uh, for now, this is completely fine. Um, pre, uh, we skipped the unboxing part of the video. So Doug's very chunky. And I just dropped Doug into the abyss. So Doug actually has a six pack. No, how many? Two, four, six, eight pack. Oh my goodness. Doug is ripped and fat at the same time. Um, Doug has a posable tail for some reason. So you can wag it back and forth. Maybe have a, another figure hold on to the tail, pick him up. Um, and the head of Doug um, can rotate side to side, um, so you can have him look around. Very inquisitive. So uh, Suko actually he comes with a rock, and uh, in the trailer you can see Suko is throwing that rock at um, another uh, another ape. But um, when I first saw the toy, I thought it was uh, like a ball for Doug, and he would like play fetch with him. Um, spoiler alert, um, I'm gonna be talking a lot about the movie, so uh, if you haven't seen it yet, do not watch this review. Um, Suko is not playing uh, ball with Doug, unfortunately, and there's not really an action feature for Suko to throw it. I mean, his torso does rotate, but um, it doesn't really stay on his hand that well, um, unless, you know, they put some magnet in there. Um, also, Suko's not totally screen accurate, but I do love the characterization of him. They kind of emphasize a lot of his features in this figure, and I think it's really cool. Um, he's a tad bit too big. They made him a little bit shorter. It'd be fine, but this works because the joints and stuff um, aren't too small, so the figure isn't too delicate and can be kind of rough-housed, which he does get rough-housed in the movie. Um, I think Kong holding him by his foot or something and used him as a, a weapon so i'm not sure oh there we go you can have kong hold suko as a weapon and flail him around which um is great because you can recreate that scene from the movie even though uh we don't actually have any other uh kong or ape figures to uh smack around with besides scar king but yeah you can smack Scar King with Suko, um, even though by the end of the movie, Suko and Kong were locked in, but, um, yeah, which is weird, because he can hold Suko, but he can't hold the original axe, unless they're gonna make, like, one with a thinner handle, or a Kong with a, a like, a larger hand grip, I just can't, for the life of me, get the axe into the hand, I mean, like, it's just too tight, the, the hole itself is, um, big enough to fit, like the shaft in but um the uh oh that that all sounded awful um but the thumb just won't move like out of the way to uh to let it in so it kind of sucks even the the arm here with the glove doesn't fit it but the uh the power arm also doesn't rotate it's like one solid brick which is fine i love that if anything it gives him more of a more of a punch you know um 
but this figure is a huge upgrade from the uh, the last figure um, in terms of detail the hair is a lot sharper like the details themselves are a lot sharper sure these figures don't have the battle damage which is super cool but those were hard to get out of the arm and the the bodies anyways so uh, the teeth in this figure are one plastic piece whereas the new ones they're painted on um, and the head looks a lot better too the coloration used is also fantastic they went with an inverted color scheme which looks way better black hair or like dark brown hair and then the gray on the chest instead of the black on the chest so this figure is already massive step up face details are crazy holy cow just blows the other one out of the water like man this one looks so trashy in comparison so this kong figure is insanely awesome and for the same price too like super cheap 10 bucks american is insane for this level of detail and quality in the figure and it's very heavy like that is that is quality plastic so great figure all around um he is caked up too holy cow how is he stacked to his original one uh, they're around the same level just they, they emphasize his butt more on this one crazy love the uh hair on the back too he's very shaggy now um but yeah, just sad he can't grip his original axe. I mean, the new figures don't come with axes at all, so it's not like they planned for that, but it would have been nice because the axe played a big part in the film itself. Um, I also wish Suko could hold the axe because he did kind of use it at the end. Um, yeah, you can kind of like dual wield it a little bit if you like balance him and balance it, but... Um, yeah no uh so hopefully they make an axe a new axe or just a variant of kong that can hold the axe nonetheless it's not that big of a deal um and then the evolved uh godzilla figure is really nice i love the tail length on him fantastic like wow holy cow very heavy too um if you compare it to the original the uh the spikes of course are a lot different i love that they still went with the translucent spikes there's a new version of the original godzilla with like normal spikes that aren't translucent and they have some patterns on them which are really cool um his neck got a little beef here i think they they made his eye bigger heat blast is different too it's more spiky and it sprays out the sides of his mouth now um his arms are longer he's got those like spikes on them his legs are also longer oh my goodness and of course he got a uh, lipo suction or he started working out or something because he's got a way thinner waist bigger chest um yeah everything about the figure is different and he's even got the spikes on the end of the tail crazy upgrades um and totally different color too he's kind of like this more greeny color um at first i was like oh <laughs> It's kind of weird, but now I love it. The, the The design has grown on me, so it's not it's not terrible. And of course, Scar King, he was so short as a toy. Like, everyone saw the toy come out, and they're like, oh, this can't possibly be the big bad. He's so tiny in comparison to Kong. And, like, yeah, he was short in the film. He was shorter than Kong. But that actually, like, played a lot into the film. Like, in terms of, like, oh, all the Kongs, all the... It's weird. His name's Kong. They're all called Kongs. Um, but I'm going to refer to the, the rest of the apes as Kongs or great apes or whatever they called them in the film. Um, the other Kongs were short compared to Kong himself. They were all way shorter than him. So Scar King was actually like the taller of the Kongs that uh, we saw in the movie. And not only that, he's super lanky, super quick, super fast, flexible, like his size was more built for like speed and agility, um, whereas Kong's more that brute force and power. So it actually uh, it did a great job in having that dynamic. If he was a lot larger, he would have been slower and more powerful, whereas we wanted to see Kong be the powerhouse and just take everyone out. Whereas um, Kong also got the upper hand on Scar King, and that's when he had to pull out his secret weapon, which is Shimu. Now, the Shimu figure is actually really tiny, um, really small in comparison to how big she was in the film. Um, I think her back's supposed to be Godzilla's head height, so it's supposed to be, like, up there. 
Um, but it's not that big of a deal, not that noticeable. I mean, like, if you stand Shimu up on her hind legs, which I think you can kind of do with this figure. There we go. See? There. Now Shimu's bigger. So it's not, it's not awful. But also, Shimu didn't really stand at all really much in the film. Um, but nonetheless, uh, very great figure for Shimu. I uh, love the purple kind of spikes on the back and the tail is well painted. Got the spikes there too. Arms have like full rotation. You can make Shimu uh, T-pose, which is really nice. Um, and you got that fire breath um, and then the jaw articulation and just like a blue dot for the eye, which in the movie, the eye was like circular, very like round, which was quite cool i guess <laughs> it was unique um and then you get this kind of scale pattern down the legs and on the tail very dragon-esque um but scar king's pretty neat i love the articulation on the waist actually you can have a lot more posability with that they didn't necessarily have to do that but they decided to which i'm not complaining about because oh my goodness really cool got the red paint all over him or blood or whatever that is Got the blue eyes, lots of nice facial features. He's very arrogant in the movie. He's very cocky, so um, that fits well. And the whip actually can turn into um, a belt that goes around him. Um, or around the side of him, actually, like that. But unfortunately, the um, that tip of it that's supposed to have the uh, crystal, it's not there. And um, you can make him hold the part with the uh, jaw on it, but I think the packaging has him holding the tip that's supposed to have the crystal on it, and it fits way better that way anyways. Um, but yeah, no, a little inaccuracy, but I don't mind because this looks very damaging <laughs> if you were to get hit by that. Um, so yeah, I love his figure, very cool, and I'd actually love to see at least one or two more Kongs um, his henchmen or just background Kongs or anything made in this scale. I know they probably won't. Um, even though they made like the war bat and the skull crawler from uh, Skull Island as figures in the previous lineup, they probably won't make another Kong uh, species figure at all because it, it's really unnecessary and I, I don't see a lot of sales. They probably don't see a lot of sales of that figure happening, whereas these guys are more unique monsters that kids would want to buy up but uh, at least we have these maybe we might see like that snake that water snake be made similar to this guy um or what other large monster was in the film besides skilia skilia and um uh, mothra yeah so we might see in place of um place of these two because in the original lineup we had kong godzilla and the mecha godzilla in place of our big bad and um now instead of mecha godzilla we have shimu scar king or i guess shimu would be in place of mecha godzilla and then oh no wait these two in place of these two oh want want okay never mind um maybe there's a there's a slight potential possibility that we might see mothra and skillia or uh what was that tiamat tiamat as well um, hopefully it'd be cool, but I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, too positive that they will. Um, I, it feels like they, they have to do Mothra. Like they, they had Mothra as a big part of the film and it'd be pretty sad not to see Mothra made in toy form, even though it probably wouldn't sell as well as the rest anyways as well. But, um, nonetheless, hopefully there's another wave cause I'd love to pick up more monsters from the monster verse. Um, I know a while back they did Ghidorah, but they didn't do Rodan or Mothra um, in this kind of lineup wave. And Ghidorah was pretty tiny in comparison to uh, the rest of the figures. So I'll probably pick it up one day too. If they ever do Mothra and Rodan, I'll definitely pick it up. But for now, uh, these in scale kind of figures are pretty nice. And uh, I'm a pretty big fan of what the uh, MonsterVerse and what Playmates are doing with them so much detail so much posability and at a very affordable price like i love the scaling and uh even though 
it's hit or miss sometimes with the scaling. Um, I feel like for the most part, their lineups are fantastic with it. And uh, they're very collectible, very playable. And uh, if we see more monster movies coming out from the MonsterVerse, which of course we will, um, then it's inevitable that Playmates will create more figures, um, more big bads, more uh, background monsters, hopefully, like they did with the Skullcrawler and the Warbat. Uh, but for now, this assortment is fantastic, and I'm really looking forward to seeing if they make a second wave with new guys. And if not, I'm looking forward to the next movie, which is in, what, a few years? But whatever. I'm great. I'm fine with this. Um, and uh, it's not too big of a lineup. It's not impossible to collect them all if you want to collect them all. But if you just want to get the main set, it's even more affordable. Like, this was just 50 bucks for these five. Or, I guess, six. Because these guys are a two-pack. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely pick them up if you're a fan of the movie. I'm a big fan of the movie. It's definitely one of my favorite monsterverse movies just for the sheer uh brawling scenes in general but also the storyline i was a big fan of so yeah let me know down in the comments if you pick these figures up already or if you're hoping that they make mothra or any other figures i'd love to hear it all down in the comments below and i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye